my name's Lyndon Longhorn. I'm 26 years old. I've been in para swimming since 2008, just after then. So after the Beijing Games had started. So that's what motiv motivated me to basically get into swimming and push forward to try and represent Great Britain at a Paralympic game. With my mental health story, it's been quite tough. Um, obviously going through a breakup and having the pandemic, it's not been the easiest. I got to a point where I just turned around and said I didn't want to be here anymore. And I found it really hard to try and motivate myself again to get back up and drive forward. So the support that I've had through British Paris Women and the EIS has been absolutely phenomenal. I mean, if it wasn't having the relationship there with Paris Swim, I probably wouldn't have spoke up as quick as I did. But yeah, because of that relationship that's been there, that's why I spoke up to Charlotte, who's based with British Paris Swimming. Was able to let her know what was going on and we tried to work out a way to get myself pulled around in a quick time frame. Then obviously had the help from Emily Hunton, who works with the EIS, who's our performance lifestyle advisor. Um, and we had to work out a plan which was going to start and get me back on track. So typically they have the same challenges as, as you or I. Um, I guess what makes some things different at times is just that pressure of just being in a high performance environment. We can offer a range of different options. I think primarily we're a, we're a listening service, we're a coaching service. So we are there to listen to the athlete. We offer a safe, confidential space where athletes can talk and open up to us. And then we very much work with the athlete to work out what the next best step is. So whether that is just ongoing support, face-to-face -face or online support, it might be that we need to refer them to clinical services, depending on what they're bringing to us. Or it might be that we send them, signpost them to organisations that can help. The regular contact, absolutely phenomenal, because that just was the one thing that kept us going and trying to work out what we do each day from the smallest tasks to the biggest task, which are long term. Um, you might think it's stupid, but the simple task of just getting up out of bed, making your bed, making your breakfast, putting washing in, stuff like that, can just keep your mind slightly focused. I've noticed a massive difference in myself, as well as like work colleagues have noticed, my swimming trainers have noticed, even athletes have noticed as well, they've seen a massive upward shift in myself. Having your performance lifestyle advice there as well, to point you in the right direction and put a plan together is vitally important. Because I think when you sit and look at the whole situation, yes, I work, yes, I also train, and yes, I have a daughter as well. So when you put all them together, it's not easy to balance early mornings to balance your work schedule. We'll just make sure that you are well supported because it's a big thing to disclose how you're feeling. There's worries about trust, there's worries about fears of where they'll be on the programme. Um, and often they're just fears, they're not facts. And that's what we can help to support the athletes with, to provide that reassurance. And any issues or concerns they might have, we can have those conversations with the necessary people.